Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a great day so far and welcome to today's video where I'm going to be sharing swatches, demonstrations and some comparisons of the new Charlotte Tilbury beautifying face palettes. I have both varieties, the light medium and the medium deep. We're gonna be trying these out. I'm gonna be sharing my thoughts. I also have the tiger and elephant palettes from Hourglass and the Charlotte Tilbury Nudegasm palette to compare these palettes to and see if we have anything similar. Let's have a look at some swatches. If that sounds helpful to you, keep watching. Okay, so these palettes arrived on Charlotte Tilbury's website a couple of days ago. They popped up and everybody has been waiting for these because they just look so stunning. And we've been seeing like sneak peeks and teasers of these for months. So as soon as these popped up, I was all over them. So accompanying these, there are also some single eyeshadows which didn't launch at the same time as these palettes and are no longer on the Charlotte Tilbury UK website at least. They have popped up on Beautylish but are selling out quite quickly and they are kind of popping up randomly on other websites as well so there is more to this collection there are some single eyeshadows if you are interested in those as well I will try and link those down below for you so as for these cheek palettes these are available in two varieties both will set you back 60 pounds or 75 dollars and they are limited edition for the holiday season so both share the exact same gorgeous packaging that is so much prettier in person. It's like this gorgeous pearlescent shell. The lighter of the two palettes features more of a pink mauve cooler tone of shades and the deeper of the two is definitely a bit warmer with more sort of orangey peach coral tones within it. As far as the packaging, I really like these. They stand up by themselves. They have a nice large mirror. The packaging ex like externally the outside is absolutely breathtaking as is the pattern on the inside and I really like how these feel. They're very nice for travel. These are one of Charlotte Tilbury's like best products. I always love her face palettes. I always find them very well put together and thought out. Okay, so let's have a look at some comparison swatches. Okay, so first up swatching the light medium palette and this is on unprimed arm, like bare arm and just a generous sort of finger swatch swelled in the product. And next to that swatching the medium deep palette. Immediately you can see this is the deeper of the two, particularly that second highlight and the second blush. Definitely richer, definitely warmer than the light medium. Next to that, I'm going to swatch just the blush and the highlight from the Nudegasm palette. See how this compares? Not similar actually really to anything blush wise. This is probably the closest, but definitely more orange than anything in here and the highlight probably a bit more golden as well and next i'm going to swatch the hourglass tiger palette next to those just the blushes and the highlight i have wiped the new gasm palette away because we're just not going to have that space I don't think many of the shades in here are really that similar. It's a different kind of color story, the Tiger palette, but it's kind of showing that one is definitely warmer and I say a little bit richer overall than the, the deeper of the two Charlotte Tilbury palettes. Next, I'm gonna swatch the Elephant palette from Hourglass Blushes. See if these are similar. Mm, not really. These are a bit more pink than the Movia tones from the Charlotte Tilbury and completely different to the medium deep. Let's have a look at the Climax blush from Charlotte Tilbury. Not really similar to anything there. The closest is probably the lighter blush from the light medium palette but nothing too similar. Okay, so I'm gonna start off on this side of my face with the light medium palette. Dipping into the pinkier of the two highlights, I think that's kind of closer to my skin tone. That's actually really pretty. Really pretty and quite subtle, not super metallic actually. I'm gonna use the other shade up here so we can see it on. Oh, that's actually add a bit of that to see if that gives us a bit more of a pop. 
No, really quite soft, actually, those highlights. Really beautiful. They can be built up. They're not really enhancing like my texture too much. I feel like this is a bit of a return to kind of Charlotte Tilbury's more typical highlight formula. I think recently with like some of her collections, she's gone quite shimmery and quite extreme and not really like her typical level of glow, like more the luminosity. This is more like what I associate with Charlotte Tilbury. It is a bit light for me. You can probably see it's kind of leaving a lighter like patch on my skin, which is probably what I would expect. So I think I'm gonna use this shade first and then we'll top it a bit with the deeper shade to see how they work on my skin. These aren't powdery, like they're not making any kick up. It's that like beautiful sort of gel powder, like hybrid type of formula that I really like. I think this is gonna be really pretty and soft on my skin tone by the looks of it. Really buildable though, that's building really beautifully. Very pretty, but soft, quite natural, quite neutral actually on me, that shade. By the way, if it looks like I've been crying, I was just flicking through TikTok and I saw this really horrific TikTok where a spider like flew at the screen and I like screamed the house down and then started crying. So <laughs> that was weird. Okay, so now let's put a bit of the sort of richer blush and see how this looks. Just really no like kick up or fallout at all. Really super smooth flattering blushes. They're not like super matte, but they're not shimmery or glittery either. They're really beautiful, like natural satin finish. Just so pretty. Wow, I think that looks gorgeous. And I'm really happy that the highlight has kind of made a return to like Charlotte Tilbury's typical skin-like, beautiful lip from within natural luminosity, because that's what I love from a highlight. So I really like that palette actually. I'm excited now to try this one because I feel like this one's just much more up my street and I think the highlights will work better for me in this palette. I think this one will be too deep, but it will make like a nice blush topper. I think this one will be perfect. It looks stunning. This is, I mean, the embossing and everything is so pretty. Oh, this is a little bit more impactful actually, this highlight. Definitely a bit more impactful than the lighter palette. So I don't feel like I need to build it up, but actually it's also really blending beautifully in. So as I'm sort of blending that, it's actually toning it down and giving it more of a sort of softer, smoother glow. That's a gorgeous highlighter. I really like that. That's right in the sort of sweet spot for me where it's, it's glowy, but it's quite smooth and it's melting into the skin, that's gorgeous. So again, let's try this blush as a sort of base blush and then we'll go really gently with the redder blush. Oh, that's beautiful. Definitely like my shade of blush, this. More of a sort of coral, beautiful. Absolutely perfect. I like that you've got a sort of a subtle choice and then a more rich choice. It's going to work on a lot of skin tones. This is the sort of same level of like depth and like vibrancy to the lighter shade with both shades applied. So let's go really carefully with caution into this shade. Okay, so that I mean, that can be used really really lightly as well. So you can use those if you're more of a medium skin tone. I'm not gonna build this up because it will be alarming, but if you have a deeper skin tone, these are building beautifully and you could certainly get a lot of color out of the blushes if that's what you'd like. Oh, that's so beautiful. Charlotte Tilbury just really rarely misses for me when it comes to cheek products. Okay, so as always, I am in natural daylight. This is the light medium palette, just gorgeous. And then the medium deep, which is, ah, uh, this is just stunning. I like that the highlight's a little more kind of impactful, but still really smooth, 
really not enhancing texture much at all and just really suits my skin tone. It's melting in, it's not leaving a cast and the blush is just like the kind of colors I die for. <laughs> Gorgeous, but both sides beautiful to be honest. This is definitely my preference but this looks super pretty. And I think if you had a, like a more fair skin tone, this is just gonna suit you even more and be even more beautiful. Oh, I love them. I love these products. I just love a face palette from Charlotte Tilbury. Can't get enough. Okay, so we are quickly losing light. It's getting darker and darker and darker. You guys know I film with natural daylight here. It's almost four o'clock. I feel like the lights are going out as we speak. So let's give you my final thoughts on these palette. I love the formula of these. They very much remind me of my much treasured and adored Nougasm palette. With that formula, that is like a gel to powder hybrid formula it leaves like no kick up no dustiness no powderiness and it really just melts into the skin and is so easy to blend so easy to build up as much or as little as you want and it just ends with a gorgeous natural seamless application of makeup these are like charlotte tilbury's best products. I always love her face palettes. I just think they're so good. The formulas are so good and the colours in here are really nice and versatile. I love that you've got two palettes because the last time we only had the one which was quite light. Actually even the contour powders in here I don't really use because they're a bit light for me being a medium skin tone. We really needed at least another deeper option when this one was re released. So I am glad to see that we have two this time. And I think that the blushes are so beautifully buildable. They will be more versatile across skin tones as well, because you can use them lightly or build them up depending on what you're looking for. I was able to use both of these palettes really nicely and have like a different effect, a different level of like impact depending on how I use them and the palette that I used. Both of these are absolutely beautiful. I was so excited for this release and I was not disappointed at all. I just think they're gorgeous. They do exactly what you expect and want them to do. And the medium deep is like, I can't stop looking at this cheek. This is a gorgeous cheek. So yeah, my thoughts are, as I expected, I absolutely flipping love these. I, I, I just always do. These are like right up my street. I <laughs> just look at it. <laughs> I don't think really we found any sort of real repeats when it comes to the colour stories. I think when you look at them, they are completely different to like the Hourglass Tiger palette that we've seen. They're very different to the Nougasm palette. When you hold them up, I mean, they're completely different colour stories. So I think if you already own the Hourglass, you're not necessarily repeating what you have here, but ultimately they are going to give you a glowy, gorgeous, really pretty cheek. So there's that to think about, you know, if you just splashed out on the Hourglass palettes, you know, you don't necessarily have to buy all of the face palettes. I know these are so, so tempting. They are because they're just so beautiful and pretty. But ultimately on the cheek, you're getting a gorgeous, glowy, luminous cheek palette. That's what you're getting. So that's really what I would think about. If you're trying to cut back on makeup spending, you just splashed out on the Hourglass Holiday palettes, then, you know, this is another gorgeous cheek palette. So only you can decide whether it's worth your money or not. Please let me know if you've tried these palettes, which is your favorite, which are you most interested in? Which do you prefer on me? Do you prefer the lighter or the deeper one like I do? Please let me know your thoughts on these palettes in the comment section down below. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful and I'd love to see you in the next one. Otherwise, take care for now. Bye-bye.